Howdy, you all. I'm around the wheel. You're watching 46 Okanen, and we seem to have made it to the Fountain of Dreams, where rumor has it that if we can get past the nasty poo-poo taste, the water will do something really good for us. So this is another maze. Mazes are not particularly productive uh, in this game. What is... Oh, I've encountered a gelatinous cube. Oh, that's not good. Well, okay, so you can actually... Those must be the monsters that they're talking about. What happened if I do it again? So yes, I... Oh, God. So now I just lose vitality if I don't have Evo genes to give up. That's really bad. Okay, so we want to avoid the gelatinous cube. Somebody left a bunch of jello sitting around. And uh, we want to try to avoid that, if at all possible. And the controls are not going to be super helpful with that. Although this is not as fast an evolution as we are accustomed to seeing, really. Uh, he doesn't move at the speed quite at the speed of light maybe more like the speed of sound okay so that seemed to be both hurting and helping me at the same time okay i can go through the water but some of the water hurts me so hopefully it's not all dead ends and bad times here there's a lot of screen flashing going on there i'm very sorry about that if you're photosensitive or uh or uh, susceptible to that kind of thing that is in fact a dead end wonderful so let's go back around. Please cover your eyes. Avert your eyes from the terrible... Uh, oh god, now I'm, gonna, now I'm not going to be able to go down because I'm up against a wall for the rest of my life. Up against the wall, you dinosaur mother. Okay. Okay, there we go. Actually, I had to get super far away from the wall, but I think eating lily pads will... Yeah, there we go. Eating lily pads restores my health. So we are a Mostrodon, which is a... Looks like a Demetrodon, but it has a tiny fin. Demetrodons have really big fins, but the Mostrodon has a tiny one. I'm having a hard time with it. Kind of like when Batman has tiny ears. I can't respect it. A weird take, I know. But I like my Batman to have big ears. Okay. There's some kind of vegetation growing in the water, but... Alright. As long as... Okay, so this is the problem that people are saying. There's monsters in the water... And it's hard to pick out a reasonable path, but... Okay, finally a place in this building that doesn't make... Oh no, I've entered a gelatinous cube and lost 163 vitality, but that may be necessary in some cases. I am willing to account for that possibility. Yeah, there's a dinosaur right there. He made it onto land? Yeah. So as long as we eat lily pads... Ah, Scleromus Thug C. That's the one that didn't know uh, what he wanted to do with his life, if I recall correctly. The boss has ordered me to wait here until everyone comes out. But I wanted to go with... Oh, well, I know. That's, that's not entirely fair, is it? Life just isn't fair. You sit there... Okay. Alright, where is Landfall? I think we're going to have to actually find stairs to get up on land. Okay, so big squares of... Okay, so this is a safe little spot right here. Maybe a good spot for a save. But I, I'm pretty much stuck with my form for now, I guess, right? Because I lose Evo genes if I walk through a gelatinous cube. Who left their jello molds just sitting out? Uh, I don't know, but that seems like an irresponsible move. Okay, okay, there we go. Where you can uh, go on and off of things is uh, hard to tell sometimes. So, it looks like I might be wandering. Oh, hey, I got pushed over by a current. That was that was pretty crazy, but... Oh, something here. So, it looks like I can get onto a green patch if there's uh, lily pads surrounding it. But, I think this is... I just made a giant circle, didn't I? Oh, goodness me. Okay, so, so I could have gotten to, so I could have gotten there without sitting through a bunch of cubes, maybe? I don't know. Hard to determine. Where is, this is a dead end. Okay, yeah, so this is the part where we edit everything out until I get to something relevant, because running in circles through mazes is no fun. Well, you know what? I bet he meant when everyone comes out. I bet he meant comes out of the waterfall, because it looks like there's kind of a door there, but, well, I'm having a tough time getting to it. And if I'm going to keep running into this guy, I should probably, uh, change my display speed, you know. New, 
new recording session and whatnot. So let's try going in the waterfall. Okay, yes, I can enter the waterfall. Good. So that got me to here, to this little pond. Okay, now I'm on the side where... Okay, I bet this is about the point where I start battling things, because if the Scleromos thugs are over here, they have probably discovered something. Like a whirlpool that will warp me somewhere else, perhaps. Okay, I can't go down to here. This seems to be the downward south boundary. Okay, so... Let's move in and all around and in all manner of directions. I think it's probably okay to take a hit from the vitality stealing gelatin in the name of exploration. So, yeah, it shouldn't take very long to recover that. And we can get around that barrier. Okay, let's go, let's go into the water then. I saw a whirlpool over there that looks like it might be relevant. I can't actually go down these stairs at all for some reason? Okay. Well, I can go down these. They probably want you to go the long way around. Oh, hey, I'm being pushed. Okay. Oh, hey, there it is. <laughs> Current took me right to the thing I wanted to explore. That's good. So now we're in a new part of the zone. We're getting ever closer to the fountain because there's more and more water. This looks like a pedestal where you might stand if you wanted something to happen, but I don't think anything is going to happen there, so let's keep moving. Let's keep going up the stair. What? What's up those stairs, though, actually? Actually, factually. Did I already... No. This seems, seems to be a lot of ways to get to the same place around here, which, honestly, I kind of appreciate. Previous mazes in here have been not so fun, so it looks like... Ew. What is happening here? We got some... We got some Matrix life batteries bubbling up around here. Alright, this is getting supremely creepy. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna save before I go down the stairs. I don't know, I don't know about all that mess. Let's investigate one. Try to talk to it. Former Scleromos boss. Oh, oh, they were probably not fit to drink from the evolutionary waters. How pitiful. Oh, oh, now it's blue for some reason. I guess because I talked to it. Oh, it was reminded of its pitiful state. So they tried to drink from the water, and they've been turned into giant single cells? It was not supposed to be like this. No, indeed. You want to go on a journey now? Well, I bet uh, I bet there's a 4.6 billion year journey in your, in your future if you uh, are willing to start over from the start. All you can do, all she can do is bounce, bounce. She wanted to have the nice little Scoromos bosoms that could bounce, bounce, but now she can only do that with her entire body. You see a fountain with a weirdly shaped black rock that's practically invisible in the water. I don't know, I can see it pretty well. What's all this, what's all this jazz around it? That's probably stuff that the Scoromos got turned into. There are living things squirming around in the fountain that you can't quite see, and good thing too, because they are hideous. You feel a strange harshness in your heart the longer you look at it. You're standing just before the fountain. Do I drink the fountain's water or do I leave? Well, since I'm the destined one, the destined one of destiny, I think I'm going to go ahead and drink from it. Not bad at all, with a full-bodied flavor. Ah, yes. The rich minerals are actually good for my body, and I received a bunch of Evo genes for it. Ooh. Ooh, do you have to, like, find a cutoff or something? Or can you just drink here with reckless abandon? Ooh. So do I get greedy, Martin? Or do I... There's a weird aftertaste on your tongue. It's odd. You received 57 Evo genes. Now, when we came here, I saw that we could actually move onward from this point. So, is this just a place to come and get free genes? I'm going to give it one more drink. Pain racks your body and you feel the urge to vomit. So, I think once the water makes us puke, I think we're going to go ahead and call that it. So, I have time to heal. I think these people just got greedy. They probably got water intoxication. But, three drinks gave me uh, 199 Evo genes to work with. So, what does that do for us? 
I think this may be all there is to this part. So which direction do we want to go? We could probably evolve Endurance if we went that way. But I want to evolve... I'm way behind on Vitality and Wisdom. So I'm going to take the opportunity to get those things. 94 genes left. So we're roughly even on Endurance. Yeah, let's go for some Wisdom. Okay, uh, uh, uh. Let's just go up, right, left until I run out of jeans. Up, right, left. Okay, so I've run out. Okay, so now I'm... Wow, I'm a lot more even than I would have even probably gotten intentionally. So, yes, let's do that. And I think there's maybe not much else to do at the fountain. Okay. The th Yeah, they came here and they got their fill and then some. And it was bad for them. So, I think I've moved in a semi-decent direction... But I have a feeling that's all there is to do here. Because we could have moved on from the point where we entered the fountain. So I'm going to try leaving and moving on and see what that does. I think this may have just been a... I think this may have just been a fairly minor diversion, all things told. So, yeah, I'm going to... I don't have any Evo genes. So uh, take that, Jello cubes Take all the vitality you want from me. I'm just going to go back... And I'm going to leave the fountain and move on and see if that's the move. Okay, so as soon as I left, this popped up. So I think I am doing the right thing. I hear a voice. Is it Gaia? Or is it Lucifer? It's, a, it's not a kind voice like Gaia's at all. Sounds like I just got a call from Lucy. It's an ominous voice. This sounds as though it's coming from the depths of the earth. So it's you. You're the creature she chose. I see. This should be fun. I'll wait and watch it a little longer. Assuming you manage to survive anyway. <laughs> and then it gets really low and guttural. And I feel like I need to get myself to a church. Oh boy. Yeah, so things are not going super well. So everything on the land currently is dead or running away from me or not coming near me, really. Uh, I can still fight. Wow, that thing came right at me, but let's see how we do against this thing now. Oh, yes, we're much more equipped to fight Ophia Codons now. Uh, in fact, they're pretty easy, and I don't stand a chance into running of any Jello cubes around here. So I think I'm going to take the time to get some Evo genes. I have a little pool right here that I can recover at. That's wonderful and lovely. I think it may be time for a uh, minor grind, so let's go fight a few Ophia Codons. That place over to the left of the mountain range, I think I've been there before, but man, that place is just littered with, uh, what, what, hey, you look like a thick guy. What are you up to? Who are you? Sinonathus. Is this uh, more on my level? It is not. It is uh, something that's really easy to fight, so... The stuff around here is uh, pretty reasonable to fight, so I'm going to hang around and do that for a little bit. Hey, Procomp Sognathus, I actually recognize this one. This is a real one. That's a Moss Chops right there, by the way, that I was beforehand. Yeah, looked like an enormous chicken. That's right, it did. Ate small animals and insects. It easily chased down and captured, but I still have a lot more genes to spin. By the way, uh, 1712 down where attack is at, that is the cap for the chapter, so... Might as well max out on that now, and then go heavy on... If I go all the way over toward Endurance, I'll be at the left side of the chart. Let's go ahead and do that, because that'll keep sending me leftwards. Yes. Into Lycanops. What does that look like? Resemble the small dog with a long, thin face and many mammal features. Attacked other animals. Uh, like I could do right now, or I could keep pushing toward Vitality. Oh, there's Demetrodon. So that was right to the right of Mostrodon. So yeah, pushing my... There we go. Now we're at Demetrodon, and I think we're going to stay that way for the foreseeable future because we're at the end of our evolutionary track. So I'm just going to get as many Evo points as I can until I've capped off for the entire chapter. And then we'll start facing things probably that are either a little ahead of us or on level. 
All right, I'm as maxed out on evolution as I can be. And now I'm a Demetrodon with the big fin, which all the ladies respect. So we're going to keep on moving now. Uh, I can pretty much avoid battles. Will water still hurt me? Water still hurts me, even at this advanced stage in my development. But it looks like the monsters are really coming. See, now we're on level, exactly as I thought. Okay, so, so unlucky attacks. Yeah, I'm still stronger than they are. It doesn't look like battles require a whole lot of strategy. Yeah, and my desperate attacks do almost 600 damage, by the way. It'll be nice to see what the maximum I can get to for this chapter is. But it looks like the path ahead is just absolutely loaded with bad guys. So let's, uh, let's try to avoid them if we can. Although it looked like... And I hit a dead end because I went the wrong way. Because I'm a goofball. Okay. Oh, fire code on. I don't have time for this, buddy. Okay, we seem to be back in the realm of forest fires and whatnot. Uh, yeah, those things definitely do hurt a lot, but I don't see much of a way around them. And it looks like we're going to have to do the thing we did where I spend fight time recovering. Especially from a pro comp song, Nathus, which might be uh, pretty powerful. Oh, wow. Yeah, I really, I received a lot of life back, though, so... Taking the time to recover is definitely worthwhile. Very good, okay. I feel much more on top of the game now. Especially now that it's taking a defensive stance in its final, uh... Okay, let's see if a... Dang it, an onslaught wasn't enough. How come I can never kill these guys? They always seem to have one hit point left. Such weird guys, but we are definitely in the, uh... We're definitely in the even match part of the chapter, which means we are nearing the end and I have to use strategy. There was a nice little, like, couple minutes there where I didn't have to use strategy, and it was wonderful. I could just hit fight, 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 but let's go ahead and start off by recovering. That works for me. Okay, ah, yes, there we go. I got stunned and unluckied and stunned and stunned and probably more unluckiness. What is a... Okay, what can I do that will... What does stalking do? I think it stuns, maybe? Okay, but I'm the one that got stunned somehow? Cool. Uh, well, I defeated that guy. Yes, I do need some food. That will come in great before my next... Man, there are just dinosaurs everywhere. Like, you gotta really fight through a gauntlet, don't you? That's going to be what this is. This is going to be fighting through a gauntlet until I get to something that's actually important. So, let's just cut out the gauntlet. Alright, I've reached one of them there glowing caves. Finally, a safe spot. What happens here? Something sad has happened. The sad funereal music is playing. Ah, yes. Elegy for the blob people. You hear of the shrine to the southwest that can return us to our former bodies? Something like that exists? Let's go. We don't exactly have a future looking like we do. Uh, unless you want a part as a giant eyeball in a horror movie where the land is taken over by giant eyeballs. Ah yes, a lifetime of bullying to look forward to. So there's some kind of shrine, sounds like. I've been hearing strange voices nearby. They say Nemesis will obliterate you weaklings from the annals of time. They're going to go back and straight up erase your entire future. Hey, yeah, that's messed up, man. I agree. Hey, listen, I heard a really eerie voice. And it said you'll suffer the same fate as the stupid Lunarians. And all because you drank too much water. I thought drinking water was supposed to be good for you, but in this game, there's things in the water, and you shouldn't do that because you'll barf. Look at that. Uh, it's, a, it's an animal that has still managed to retain his form. Oh, something's trying to cover all the stars in the heavens. I wonder what will happen when that happens. I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, the kind of planet you don't want aligning. So, will that happen no matter... Okay, yeah, same deal. So, it looks like a lunar eclipse is on the way. And about that time, if I don't stop the lunar eclipse, then these guys are going to freeze out. They're going to be stuck as frozen blobs forever. 
Boy, we got a lot of work ahead of us on our hands, but next time we'll be heading to the shrine in the southwest, I guess. Where, apparently, all of this can be fixed. Once again, it's up to us to fix the after effects of poorly thought out evolution. <laughs>